Put your heels together, toes apart. And you want to feel the balls of your feet. And just to remind you, that's on the big toe line. I think the metatarsophalangeal joint, I think is the, is the technical name for it, but it's that big knobby thing. Uh, on your foot before you get to before you get to the big toe. So you want to feel feel that the weight is spread throughout the foot, but it's primarily focused on that joint. Knees are soft. So that means you're not bent so far down that you have to strain, but they're not locked either. You just unlocked and you want to just bring your weight so that you're feeling more contact with that that ball of your foot now reach with the crown of your head That means that you're extending the crown upward toward the ceiling, but you're not using effort to do that. You're just kind of reaching. And as you do that, you want to bring the chin in a bit. And by that, I don't mean drop it like this, so you're looking down the ground. You just want to. Draw it in so that you're now opening up the jade pillow gate. Now, a lot of this will be review for everybody, but we're, we're slowing it way down to a guided meditation here. So, so that we can take this to another level. But very often, we take certain words and we transform them into alg algorithms. And then we kind of just say, oh yeah, I just, I do that. And I want you to feel into it in a brand new unit of time, as if you've never done this before. And you're discovering what it feels like to open up the jade pillow gate. What, and simultaneously feeling the balls of your feet. Making that sure that contact's there. Your the sense of your body is going to be like you're on a diving board and you're getting ready to dive into the water. So you want to feel a certain precariousness to that. Like you're almost feel like you're falling forward. But you're not. You're really just standing upright. And just for contrast, Go back into your heels and just feel the difference in the energy when you do that. And lock your knees and feel into your heels. And there may be a certain comfort that comes from that, but you can also sense that something happened to the energy, something changed. Let's go back, unlock the knees, and bring the body so that it's vertical. And the, the plumb bob extends from the crown of your head down through the balls of your feet. Now, this is a radical idea here. And there'll be many people who will advise against this. Who'll say, "No, no, you want to be a lot. You want to have all your weight in your in your heels and things like that." But we've done enough of this in this class that uh, we we start we're starting to trust this. So notice too that as we do this, there's a dynamic relationship. It's almost like our plumb bob is kind of 
still kind of swaying a little bit. As your body is looking for that center line. Relax your lower back and allow your pelvic bowl, because a lot of us have, have a pelvic bowl that's tilting forward. We want to have it so that it is parallel to the ground. So, and the, another thing that, that a lot of people do is they have one leg will be shorter than the other, the pelvic bowl will be tilted like this. And uh, it'll feel like they're, one leg is shorter than the other. When in actuality, if you just readjust the pelvic bowl, the legs will be, they'll, they'll be the same length. So we want to start to release the muscular tension that prevents us from having that. So as we relax the lower back, then they allows the coccyx to drop, point down toward the ground. And this, there's a, a point there called the Wei Lu, which is located at the very end of the sympathetic nervous system bunch is a ganglion, they call the ganglion of impar is the technical name for it, the bio, biological name for it. The energy point is called the Wei Lu. And that's where the sympathetic nervous system, which runs in parallel lines down your spine, converges into one point at that point there. So as we relax and drop that, while simultaneously reaching up with the crown, we're creating space between the vertebrae. We're also lengthening the dural tube and unkinking any obstructions that might be happening in that. And the dural tube is what it what holds the cerebral spinal fluid, which bathes your brain and your spinal cord. And it goes down to the middle of your sacrum. So as we lengthen like that, then we kind of uh, open that up and allow the cerebral spinal fluid to flow more freely. By opening the jade pillow gate, we allow the cerebral spinal fluid to flow more freely into, uh, into and out of the brain. And we also allow for circulation, blood flow, more blood flow into the brain. Bring your elbows out slightly to the side. Feel reaching with that elbow, with the elbows and feel that connection there. And point with your index fingers, feel in your hands. At a substantial level, you may feel increased circulation, tingling, pulsing, heat, sense of fullness. At the insubstantial level, you start to tune into the energy there. Heat is infrared energy, so that's, that's, uh, that's an easy one. But there are other things that are being produced here as well, including visible light. The more coherent the system is, the more, the more you light up the more you have bioluminescence in all the cells. And it creates kind of a glow. We see that in some people, the glow. And keep adjusting to that center line. And you find yourself kind of going back into a more comfortable position, you want to get back into precarious. You want to climb back on the unicycle and feel that dynamic relationship 
with the between the earth and the and the heavens and you are the intermediary and the Tao say that you know the the two gives birth to the three so yin and yang give birth to heaven earth and man with uh, man being the intermediary between heaven and earth just pay attention to the energy that's being produced in the system the heat for one thing but there are other subtler energies that are being produced as well you don't have to identify them you don't have to name them just notice that something's going on now feel the ball of your right foot you're just bringing your awareness to that so notice that when you do that you're kind of taking it away from other things including the ball of the left foot and placing it on the ball of the right and just by bringing your awareness of the ball of the right foot you begin the process of creating substantiality in the right leg feel that Note just that simple things begins that process, even though the weight is still 50 50. We have this enhanced substantiality there. The right leg is more there than the left because our awareness is on that. So now bring your knee out so that you feel it set right over the ball of the foot. Your right knee set over the ball of the foot. So you're feeling that and you're creating this very stable foundation in your right leg. So we're going to build on that foundation. That's how we get this central equilibrium to work is we you have this trusting relationship with our with our foundation. Now you're going to spiral down, releasing tension in the hip joint and spiral down to the left. So you're in your right leg, spiraling down to the left. So you're loading up that right leg. So that substantial leg is getting even more substantial. We've gone from 50 50. Now it's about 70 30. You get about 70% in your right leg and it's doing a lot more work. You just feel the stability of that of that posture, finding your central equilibrium in that. You may have to have a conversation with your calf muscles because you're asking them to do something which you, just, you might not be doing a lot of but they'll forgive you someday. And now turn your, when I say turn, you're gonna turn the waist. That means leading from the hips, you're gonna turn. So we've already established a releasing the quad. Okay, we've, we're settling into that. So we've got 70% in the right leg and we're gonna to turn to the right. So, the torso turns as a unit, hips and shoulders turn at the same time. So what's happened now, we've, the right leg has become even more substantial. Notice that as I turn, what I'm not doing is I'm not pushing my butt out to the side, nor am I pushing it back, right? I am rotating and maintaining my center over the ball of that foot, the right foot. So keeping that reaching with the with the knee one with the, the, the crown, feeling the ball of the foot as I turn. And as I'm doing it also, I'm emptying out the left leg. So I've got about 90% of my weight in my right leg now. 
and my left leg is sort of just hanging out. It's not supporting me. And I want to feel that substantiality. I pick up the left heel. And as you do that, you want to sink a little more into that right leg, only because you want to reestablish your substantiality. You feel that heel. And as you do that, you kind of uh, really release at the quad. You're settling down so that then you can pick up your left foot and step out to the side. And you want to be able to do that without a whole big shift in your body so that you can step in, step out, step in without a big adjustment to your central equilibrium. There's still going to be a conversation going on, but you want to be able to just oh, make that step and make an empty step. So you're not lunging into that left foot. You're just establishing that. You still have about 90% in your right leg, and but you've established a point over on the, uh, with your left foot. And you feel the ball of the left foot. And now we're, what we're doing, we're starting to create substantiality in the left. Because that's going to start to take more of the load now. We set the left knee. So you're going to feel the left knee is going to be in such a way that you start to, to connect the dots with the, with the ball of the foot. And spiral down to the right. So you're starting to load up the left by releasing the left claw and you're taking the substantiality out of the right leg and you're filling up into the left. Not all the way, you just you don't want to get in about 50% there. You're releasing down. So now you're going to turn the waist. So here we go again, where we're the whole, you're moving from the hip joints. You know, the whole pelvis turns and the shoulders turn with it and you pivot on the right heel so that now you're facing forward and your weight is 50-50. You're feeling the balls of both feet and you again go back and continue your conversation between the heavens and the earth and say, okay, where is my central equilibrium now? And you find it. Shift, you get, ah, there it is, click. And you'll know it because it feels a little precarious. It feels a little dangerous. And that's when you know that you got the, the energy is plugged in and you can feel into your hands now and notice the energy that's flowing throughout the body. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the left. So you're feeling that central equilibrium, loading up the right, so you can now step in with your left foot. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale and disappear the chi, dissolve all form, just feel yourself dissolving into a mist. Letting go of the energy. 
letting go of the form and just feeling into that. 